It was important for me to be a part of the Rivers Connection Project because I have such a personal connection with the river. For me, the times during the summer when I felt freest with my friends and family was diving into the river, whether it was in a tube or a canoe, jumping off a tree branch into the river. I want youth to have that same connection to the river. And right now, if they chose to go swimming in the river, it wouldn't be the healthiest thing for them to do. And it's really sad for me because that was such a huge part of my childhood. And kids deserve the chance to have the same connection that we have. So it wasn't only important for me for them to have the fun connection to the river, but also making sure that youth understood that in their brains is the solution to the problems that we face. They are the leaders of tomorrow and their opinions are important. So having them a part of this process and the design of the artwork, but then also showcasing their artwork and their projects from their stormwater runoff green infrastructure projects was so important because they will be tomorrow's engineers, they will be tomorrow's product managers, uh, they'll be tomorrow community liaisons. So having their voice part of the solution was so important. So I'm happy I, I got to help in that way. It was important to me to be a part of this project, um, just to have that voice as an artist and that platform to be able to share my experiences with others who are from here and have had similar experiences, but are still learning as I am today. And just to reach to the children that are younger that aren't taught these things in school. So I'm so thankful to be able to make a difference and be a part of this project. It was important for me to be a part of the River Connections Project because, uh, number one, I, before, like I said before, I am Sir Dominic Jordan's mother, and anything that is important to him naturally is important to me. I think it's, as a parent, I think it's very important to support your children in whatever they may be involved in, especially if it's something positive. After learning more about how badly we were polluting the Chesapeake Bay and thus, um, thus the um, Ocean City, Maryland, I felt like children seeing me, an everyday person that they see in school, involved in something like that, would get them involved, would ha make it clear to them that, hey, we have a problem and we need to fix it. So that, for me, became very, very important. Just for the kids to see, as an educator, I am involved. As an educator, everyday educator that you see in your school, I want to make your community more safe for you. Um, it was important to me personally because, like I said, I didn't have the relationship so to, with the river, so to learn about the process and how everything's connected was just important to me. Um, and then using the artwork, yeah, like I've always been an artist, so to be able to use my artwork for a purpose and to get a message out and to see it being perceived well and people taking it in, going into the schools, the kids understand the message. Um, I think we're really changing the, the future course of the city with trash and, you know, being eco-friendly. This was important for me because I have been away for a really long time, um, right? Four years feels like a very long time. I guess it's not in the grand scheme of things. But um, I was not here, um, and when I came back to Lancaster, you know, there was a whole new shopping center that was built. There was um, just a lot of like visible changes, and I think that being part of this project made me think more deeply about the changes that are happening in this community, um, and really has made me reassess the ways that I'm trying to reinsert myself um, in Lancaster and um, in our you know everyday interactions as a, as a community. Um, I think that it really brought to life the reality that our county is facing. Um, and without the opportunity to participate and collaborate with other artists um, on this project, I think that it maybe would have taken me a, a longer time to um, really wake up to the damage that I personally have been doing um, and that my neighbors are also doing. I think it was, a, it was important for me to be a part of this project because growing up in Lancaster, I didn't know too much about the history of my own city because the history that I knew of was what I was living in. It was what memories I was making. And so being a part of this project, I learned from hearing the stories of people who are generations above mine that were sharing their connections to the river and um, just hearing the other artists share their stories and hear their passion for the river. Um, 
it really just enlightened my whole experience. So I will say like this project alone was wonderful and just deeply impactful for learning more about specifically how um, people of color in Lancaster were like connected to the river in what ways. Like I learned so much about the history of the Conestoga and how it was like separated through segregation at some points and all of that history that like you didn't learn about in schools because in school I was learning about American history but not the history of my own city. So to hear from people who grew up here, who you know raised their children here, their grandchildren here, and hear their stories and how they were connected, it just made it seem much more important. It was important for me to be a part of this project because the saying is true that you can never say that you know something until you have experienced it. So I could be one of those passengers just passing by where Mary stops me and tells me about the river and tells me that we spent $2.2 million on trash cleanup and helping with trash and things like that. But that can go over my head. You know, being in the trenches, seeing the trash that was out there, seeing the sidewalks. When you're walking, sometimes you don't notice what's down at your feet. So when you actually take a moment to stop and stare, uh, I think it will change your opinion or perception on anything that you're looking at or anyone. I think my role in this project was such a pivotal piece because divine timing is everything. I was brought to this project initially to, to do something that, you know, some people may seem as minuscule, but I put my heart and soul into it. Um, I brought other people along with me. And not only that, but this, this notion of artivism, I think was very underwhelming when it was first brought to this community. But in a sense, a lot of us are artivists, but we're just trying to find a way to be able to really impact more people and bring value to not only what we do, but to inform people with some of our approach. So a lot of times our city invests into, you know, fine arts to beautify the city, which is obviously important. But when you actually are educating people while using your art, that is what artivism is. That's where change comes from. So yeah, I think that's what I brought to this, to this table. Not only being able to impact students in our community, um, young people in our community, but to, to really educate people that have been there their whole lives have never felt brought to these type of conversations.